Good morning, Hernandez students. It's Mrs. H. Um, I am the IB coordinator at Hernandez. Um, and as you know, we go to an IB world school. Um, what this means is that we as Hernandez students and as a school, we have what is called the International Baccalaureate Program. Um, and what this stands for is we have a program of study where we bring in international components to what we're learning in the classroom. And all right, so we're gonna start off today by looking at the middle years program logo that you see right here. Um, for those sixth graders who are um, taking IB design, um, you have already um, become familiar with the IB middle years program logo. Um, it's in their IB design class. Um, for the rest of you, go ahead and take a look at this logo. Um, you can see that in the very, very center of the logo, we have um, what is known as the IB IB learner profile. And we have um, these silhouettes of students representing um, elementary students that are in the IB program. We have middle school students, this middle um, one with the dark navy, and then we have an older student, um, this turquoise in the back. Um, and we do have the IB program also um, at Stony Point High School. So this represents all the students in the IB program. Um, and then you go out next and we have approaches to teaching, we have global context, we have approaches to learning, and then we go out a little bit further. And as an IB World School, we are focused on action, we're focused on service, um, and our eighth graders will participate in the IB Community Project this year. Um, they're able to choose um, a project that they wanna work on to better um, either themselves, the community, um, or to do a research project about something that they're interested in. Um, and then you go another ring out and you'll notice that we have the eight IB subjects. And so if you see if you can see all of your classes um, in the eight IB subjects, that just represents that all of your subjects at Hernandez Middle School this year will be IB subjects. Um, and on the very um, edge, we have international mindedness. We want you to not only um, be aware of what's going on around you in Round Rock in Austin, Texas, but also to um, be aware that you are a global citizen as well. Um, and we want you to look at what's going on around the world as well. So what is at the center of the, all the IB programs? We already talked about that. Um, the IB program focuses on each student as a whole person. That means that you are the most important part of our IB program at Hernandez. Um, also, as you walk around the hallway, notice we have big posters around. Um, IB has what are known as learner profile traits. And these 10 traits are um, characteristics that we want you as IB students to be able to develop over the time, over your time at Hernandez and then at Stony Point as well. So we'll go into more depth about those um, with our next IB Flex, not tomorrow, but the next time we have it, which will be the first part of November. All right, so you probably are wondering what do MYP classrooms look like? And this is a short video to try to explain. My first impressions of the MYP were, wow, this isn't a traditional setting. This is a creative framework that allows students to engage with one another, engage with the teacher. MYP allows the teacher to be more of a facilitator. Um, and that I like. I like being able to go around, seeing the kids work together, helping themselves, helping each other. Really focuses on the person as an individual thinker, an individual learner and somebody that is creating their own pathway. 
I love being able to nurture their individual strengths. That's what the NYP does. I, want, I don't want the students to just think that science is science and art is art. And that's something that the NYP really nurtures. It nurtures that cross-collaboration. So one of the main idea for NYP is we emphasize the holistic learning. We're not looking to how long the essay they can produce, but we're actually assessing their understanding and analyzing skills. The way we learn is different because we understand what we're learning, we don't memorize it. Porque se eh, focaliza mucho en el proceso. Lo importante es el proceso, el proceso de creación, el proceso de construcción, el proceso de adquisición de conocimiento. Además, se les hace siempre al final de los proyectos una reflexión. Our students are exposed to different parts of the world. Our students are then more globally aware and more prepared for the real world. The internationalism. Uh, the capacity to understand others, uh, to put yourself in others' shoes and see different uh, perspectives, something which is so crucial. And the, the knowledge that we are hopefully not only giving them the academic skills that they need, but, but really the life skills to be able to build on, to be able to take with them. En groupe, à l'école, ben on apprend à travailler en groupe, à, à organiser, et du coup, ça nous aidera pour notre futur. On pourra travailler avec des personnes qu'on n'aime pas, qu pas forcément, et ensuite, on pourra faire des grandes choses et, et améliorer le monde. And then we have the assessments that are used around the world that really put the stamp on the rigorous instruction. Okay out with a sensitivity as to their their role in the world and the NYP provided them with some of the most valuable tools all right so as you saw there are many languages um, of the NYP NYP schools are all around the world there are actually more than 4,000 schools worldwide that consider themselves IB World Schools. And so we are very, very lucky that we get to be part of that worldwide. And you probably noticed all the languages that were being spoken. Um, the three main languages of the MYP are first, English, second, French, and third, Spanish. Um, and so all the MYP schools throughout the world, um, even though they will speak their own language, one thing that we want you as um, middle school students to learn is a second language. So what do MYP classrooms look like? In an MYP classroom, you'll notice the students are the center of learning. We've already talked about that. MYP classrooms are not truly traditional classrooms at all times. Um, the goal of MYP classrooms is to provide students with experiences in the real world, and hopefully to be able to extend your learning beyond the regular classroom knowledge. Um, and we hope that you draw connections between all your subject areas. We have in the MYP um, what is known as key concepts. And as you learn these key concepts, key concepts aren't just for one of your subjects, they span a few of your subjects. And so you'll get better at learning those as well. Um, and so this is an example um, over here when our students went on a field trip. This is pre-COVID when they went to a news studio and they were able to see um, what happened um, outside again of the classroom. And so that is our goal that you guys learn um, traditional knowledge, but to be able to also be the center of the learning um, to be able to extend that knowledge outside of the classroom as well. Um, so you've probably seen this poster in um, your teacher's classes. These are what are known as the global contexts. Um, and what we want is we want you to be able to make connections to the global community. And each of these global contexts, it's like putting lenses. Um, any of you who wear glasses, I wear glasses, you put glasses on and you're able to see things more clearly 
whether um, that's close up or whether that's far away. Um, each of the global contexts, um, if you can imagine putting um, that color of lenses on everything, if you are focusing on fairness and development, um, will have a red tint to it or, or orientation in space and time will have a purple tint to it. And so your teachers, as they choose these global contexts, you, the things that you will be learning um, will be through the lens of the global context. Um, and so anyway, that's something that um, you'll, you will get better at as you continue to learn through the MYP program or the IB program. Um, another component, if you remember, we talked about service learning and how important it is within the IB. So all students participate in service throughout years one through three of the program. Um, year one is sixth grade, year two is seventh grade, and year three is eighth grade. So during year three, all eighth grade students will participate in the IB community project. The service given is either direct service indirect, advocacy, or research base. Um, and it started in the fall. Usually November, December is when we start um, ramping up for our IB community projects. Um, and last year we participated for our service learning school-wide. We participated with a local nonprofit called Miracle Foundation. Um, and we had many experiences um, for our students with Miracle Foundation. They work um, with orphans in India and also the foster care system. They, they work with um, foster care students also in the U.S. as well. Um, they are headquartered in downtown Austin, Texas. So that was really fun to be able to work with the local nonprofit and to be able to help some of those students that were um, halfway across the world. All right, we're going to end with a quote today. It says, it's only when you take responsibility for your life that you discover how powerful you truly are. And so we hope this year, Bulldogs, that as we learn in our classes, as we learn more about what the IB program is and um, what our role in the IB program is as global students that you will be able to take responsibility um, for your life to make good choices um, and to exemplify the IB learner profile traits um, that we will discuss um, at another IB Flex. So have a great day Bulldogs and I'll see you back here for tomorrow.